welcome back to Dr. Vipin's classroom. And today we discuss how to read a specific sheet in an Excel document. So here is an example of Excel document. And in this document, there are two sheets. One is called subject one. And in subject one, you have the subject's history, sociology, anthropology, and linguistics, mostly from the humanities stream. And then you have a second sheet that is subjects two, which is mostly science subjects. So you have botany, zoology, biotechnology, molecular biology. So effectively, we have two sheets. One sheet has uh, subjects from humanities. The other sheets has subject from uh, science, right? And we would want to now access one of the two sheets as per our requirement. So how do we go about accessing an individual sheet in an Excel document is what we're going to discuss today. So here we go. We go back to our R studio and... Uh, First, of course, to read an Excel file, you need to have a Read Excel library. And in case you have not used a Read Excel library earlier and you are in base R, you will have to install this library first, right? So for that, the command is install.packages. And uh, then, of course, in round brackets and within double quote or single quote, the name of the library, that is Read Excel. And then, of course, you need to run the command. In my case, it was already installed, so I will not run it. Uh, let me just comment this here. The other way of installing a package because we are in our studio is through here. So you could go to uh, packages and from packages, you could go to install. When you click on this, this is going to open a, a dialog box for you where you can select your library that you want to install. So you could say read and then you could say X, right? It will prompt you uh, the libraries that match your initials. So here you are, yeah, you can say read Excel. And you can click on install and this will be installed here, right? So in my case, it is already installed, so I'll not install it one more time. So I say cancel, but you can go ahead and click on install. It will show you some instructions in pink. And finally, when you get the prompt back, you know your library is installed. So now that your library is installed, you need to call the library into your program or invoke the library into your program so that the commands of the library are available for you to use, right? So for that, uh, the command here is library and then in round brackets the library name so here we are we say library and in round brackets the argument to library is read excel so when you run this now the library is loaded into your program and you'll be able to use this library for your reading of excel sheets right so because our file is in the f partition and uh, in the r workshop folder i am going to set the working directory to F partition R workshop folder. So I say set WD and then in uh, double quotes or single quotes, the partition name F followed by a colon slash. This is basically your forward slash. And then the name of the folder. If there were multiple subfolders within which the file is, I'll describe until the last subfolder that is there. Right. So here we are. In this case, we say F R underscore workshop. This is the folder where my file is. And since again you are in our studio, there is an added advantage to you. The advantage is that you could also set your working directory through the uh, through the menu on the top. So you could go to session, and in session you could say set working directory, and then you could say choose directory. So choose directory essentially is folder, and it will take you until the folder here, right? So here we are, and so I could go to F again. So in this case, I can go to F. And in F, I have to go to R underscore workshop. So I could go here and select my folder. Remember, when you open this uh, dialog box, only the folders will show, the flat files will not show, right? So I go to R underscore workshop. Again, I can only see some folders, no flat files. So you have to only define the folder here. So my file is an F partition, R workshop folder. So I say open, and I am directly into my working directory fr workshop if you see here the console shows me that the command set working directory fr workshop has been executed so this is how you set your working directory so what i'm effectively doing is i'm saying my default working directory is fr underscore workshop folder right so you can also check whether your working directory has been set to the uh, desired path by using the command get wd so you say get wd and you do not give any arguments and you run this here and it shows you again your working directory today is 
F Arlen School Workshop, right? Now let's get back to reading the Excel sheet. So I've already told you to read the Excel sheet, you need the Read Excel Library. In the Read Excel Library, there is a command called Read Excel, right? And Read Excel can be used to open an Excel sheet here. So now let's get back to uh, reading the Excel sheet and the command to read an Excel sheet is read underscore Excel. So now we come to reading our sheets and uh, so reading the first sheet is simple. You just have to mention the name of the Excel document as an argument to read underscore Excel command and your first sheet will be read by default. For example, here you say S1 equals to read underscore Excel and you mention the name of the document alone, right? Which is subjects.xlxx. You run this and now you can have a look at what is there in S1. You say S1 here and it will show you the data in S1. So for example, the header is subjects underscore one and the names of the subject are history, sociology, anthropology, and linguistics. Let's also confirm this. So we go back to our Excel sheet and we go to subjects one sheet or the first sheet in our Excel, right? So this is your subjects one, history, uh, sociology, anthropology, linguistics, right? So the first sheet will appear by default. You do not need any additional argument other than the name of the Excel document with the read Excel command. So now let's check how to read the other sheets of the Excel files. So there are two ways you can read any other sheet in an Excel file other than the, the first sheet. And one of the ways is to mention the sheet number here. So we could say S2 equals to read underscore Excel, name of the Excel file that we want to read. And the second argument after the comma, that is the sheet number, which is in this case, it happens to be two, right? So let's run this here and see what do we have in S2. So again, we say run. And here we are. We have subjects underscore two as the header of the file. And then we have subjects of botany, zoology, biotechnology, microbiology, the science subjects. So here, let's also confirm through the Excel sheet that we have read it correctly. So this is your subjects two sheet. And here you have uh, botany, zoology, biotechnology, microbiology. Right. So this is one method where you can mention the number of the sheet that you want to refer to and directly go there. But in case you have several sheets and you may not be sure what is the number of the sheet that you're looking at, in that case, you can also directly mention the name of the sheet as a second argument to read and score Excel. So for example, here you say S3 equals to read and score Excel, a uh, name of the Excel file here, comma, the second argument is going to be the name of the sheet that you want to read. So in this case, it is subjects two. So here we are, we're looking at this sheet, subjects two, right? So we could go back here and press enter. You say run, right? And then we would want to see what is there in S3. So you could say S3 here, and now you get your subjects underscore two is the header. And this is followed by the name of the subjects, botany, zoology, biotechnology, molecular biology. So to revise, the first sheet in an Excel file can be accessed by just mentioning the name of the Excel file as an argument to read underscore Excel command. Then to access any other sheet, there are two ways. Uh, one is to mention the sheet number as an additional argument to read underscore Excel. And the second is to mention the name of the sheet as an additional argument to uh, read underscore Excel command here, right? So this is how you can access individual sheets in a Excel file. Thank you.